G'day here, it's Austin from Total Solar Technologies. Um, just here today to show you the brand new 48 volt uh, portable lithium system. I'll just open up the lid. Now inside you'll find a 12,000 watt inverter. This is a 48 volt system like I just said. It's pure sign. And this is as big as they come as far as portable can be expected for it. Uh, it can do 110 to 220 easily. And we've got two 100 amp solar charge controllers. Uh, currently got a few panels out, outside. Just showing you what it can do. Uh, but this is rigged up for 16 solar panels and this particular customer is getting 260 watt per panel. Um, and as for maneuverability, we have it on wheels, as you can see, and it weighs just shy of 860 pounds. So we don't recommend you move it too far, uh, and if you do, please have assistance. And otherwise, uh, we do have this to be EMP resistant. Um, there is a pipe out the back here where we feed a lot of our cables through. Uh, solar panels, 220, RV, 110. And then we've sealed up all the other exits where any pulse could get through. Um, we also have a cooling system built in, wherein we uh, take off this magnet here and then uh, flip a switch in here and you can start warm air from exiting the box. Obviously it'll work even better with the lid open, but if needs be, you can run it with the lid closed and this fan will make it exit the system. We have the vents on both sides. And this is magnetized just in case you want a bit more access for the air to get in and out. Now we're Total Solar Technologies, like I said at the beginning. Um, this is a custom system, just to show you what we can do. In this box we have 12 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium batteries, weigh 34 pounds each and they'll more than power a house for through the night, definitely. Yeah, um, when it comes to portable and solar, that's us. G'day Keith, uh, this is Austin. I'm here to run you through some basics of your system so you know what to do once you get it. Okay, so first off, these are your solar charge controllers. Green light means you're getting some energy in from the sun. What we recommend is that you always have at least one to two panels plugged in to keep your batteries nice and healthy and happy. Okay, so if you can't leave them in all the time, at least for a day or two, once a month. And then, then you'll see your battery levels go back up and then that'll keep them happy. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about um, using and knowing more about your batteries. Uh, first of all, they can't be overcharged and they can't be discharged too low. They've got basically a computer inside the battery that protects it from that happening. So they're sort of fail safe in that regard. Um, but what you want to know is, say for your inverter, uh, if you drain your battery down too much because the 48 volt inverter, once the inverter is not getting enough juice, it will just shut down because you haven't got enough power for things to run. So that will be a sign, oh the lights go off, oh I must be too low on my battery. Battery, that means you've got no juice and you will have to spark them to get them back. doesn't mean they're damaged, the lithium battery is a lot more robust than the most robust battery really um, and so it's just a bit of effort to get it back up but it's a lot easier as I said earlier to keep them charged and above a sufficient level um, in that way you know it's gonna work just fine okay so these are your remotes for your charge controllers so from left to right this is how much energy you're getting in from the Sun and then this is how much you've got in your storage aka batteries and this is how much you've got for use which is the light bulb symbol uh, same for here, press the OK button and it turns on the screen. If you leave it, it'll just turn off eventually or yeah, it'll just turn off. 
And so this is what we recommend is reading your instruction manuals on the charge controllers and the inverter so you're well versed in any warning lights and sounds that you might encounter uh, so that you're not like scrambling if anything like that happens should it happen okay so this is your inverter uh, it's 174 pounds pretty heavy uh, if you want to get things going in terms of your power you flick these two guys on here uh, those are the only thing you've got cables plugged into and then up here you have to start and power on your inverter itself You'll hear a slight hum, that's good. All three lights are going to light up, and then the yellow one will stay on, and that just says your inverter's on. Um, and then seven is inverter mode, that's what you're in. Okay, so out the back here is where you're going to plug in your, your electronics. You've got your 220, your RV plug right here. And you got your 110, which you can plug in another extension cord into. We're going to include a multi-plug uh, adapter for you as well that you'll get. Yeah. So this is these are the quick connects. They're called Anderson connectors. They plug into your panels. Um, they're designed so that you, they're easier to disconnect than your MC4 connectors. You'll find that with use. And so these will go back and plug into your panels just like that. Uh, you've got. Because you've got two charge controllers, I'm going to group these with some zip ties so you know which one's which. And then just in case those zip ties ever fail, I'm going to leave a marking on each one. Alright, so just to go over this one more time, uh, I cannot emphasize enough, keeping your batteries happy and healthy is just the same as you do for giving an oil change for your car. That's how important it is. Prevent prevention is better than cure. So please follow our guidelines on keeping your batteries charged. And as for using your system, we have your fan here to auto turn on. Happening there. Okay. Oh, so in regards to the EMP factor, but keeping access to your system, uh, we have a fine copper mesh that you'll find in through here and basically for ease of use we've put little tiny magnets in there for you to remove as you need to in order to access it uh, with either if you choose to um, whatever. well this is the one that we've designed if you want to put a lock on it Basically, uh, there's a copper mesh here with a magnet. You just take that off, and then you can access your lock. Uh, you need to buy a specially designed lock that will then hook into here, and it will sit inside this little bay. So, yeah. So please remember, if you've got the lock in and, it, and this can't cover it over, uh, the EMP resistance will not be there, because you'll have a, an opening for anything to get through. Right.